What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of eSkate Exchange, the show where we talk about electric skateboards, eSkate, M boards, board bumpers, whatever other, you know, electric skateboard stuff that we're all dealing with or we want to talk about. That's kind of this show, just electric skateboards. I mean, that was kind of a jumbled up way of explaining what this show is about, but that's okay. Um, I am Mike Beard. I am the owner of M boards, um, co owner of board bumpers as well. And then Ali, we have you here. You are our media guy for M boards. So, dude, how just you doing, camera man? <laughs> just a camera guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing very well. I am enjoying the uh, cold we- weather yeah. that we yes, we went from like 85, 90 degrees to like 55 in like a day. Yeah, so last awesome. I think it was like two days ago. I put my uh, AC to 75, and then the next day I put my heater to 75. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Jacob, you're also joining us today. You're also okay, co-owner everybody. of yep. Board Bumpers. Yep. How are you doing? Flannel days, baby. Flannel, yeah. Flannel days. Yeah. So we have actually a, a pretty awesome show today. We have, um, I feel like it's going to be a much better show than last week. Um, we have a lot of things that we want to talk about this week, so I'm excited about it. Um, first off, uh, to start all the shows, I'd like to kind of give updates on events of any kind. Um, first update on eSkateCon, we created a Facebook event page, mm-hmm. so that way you can mark yourself as going or interested, so we can kind of gauge how many people actually want to be there. It'll help us kind of gauge interest, make sure that you know, we're prepared for the amount of people who are going to actually show up, um, stuff like that also helps us, um, approach other vendors, um, and explain to them how many people are potentially going to come whether, so that way they can make a decision whether they want to come or not. So, uh, we'll le- leave a link in the description below. If you're interested in coming at all, please go down in the link, uh, click the link and actually fill it out. Let us know that you're interested. So, uh, that'll help out a lot. A couple other events, um, here in Las Vegas, um, Jacob, you have yeah, a little bit more information. Yeah, we have some cool local ones, actually. So uh, the guys at 702 One Wheels, they're they're doing their second Sin, Sh- Sin City Shred. Can't even get it out. <laughs> they're doing, uh, so October 16, 17, this weekend, one day of racing, which I believe is Saturday. And then a second day over at the Floyd Land Park, they're just doing a, a big, massive group ride. Ooh. You'll also see they're doing the uh, Meals on One Wheels program, which is pretty cool, helping helping feed the homeless. Oh, I like that. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, that's good really deal. Cool. Good deal. So we're we're actually thinking about heading out there, yeah. even though we're not on One Wheel. We just we just want to go hang out, yeah. meet these dudes. It seems like you know something they're doing that's that's pretty cool. So definitely, we're gonna try to be a part of it. The second one is November sixth, which is the Sin- Sh- excuse me Shred City Racing League. Okay. That's run by the Summerboard Group. Oh, um, yeah. They're doing a Summerboard One Wheel race at. Uh, <clears throat> well, it helps if you can get it out. Las Vegas Mini Grand Prix. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, the uh, yeah, go-karting the, Where we did the event like two months ago. Yep. Yeah, that was cool. So. Cool. Yeah. So that's, cool. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, I like, I'm actually looking forward to both events. I will try to make out to both. I don't see why not. Um, yeah, quick, question, quick question. Quick uh, question. That yeah, last cool. event, the Shred City, the one at Mini yeah. Grand Prix, yep. Yep. that one's only going to be for One Wheels and the Summer Board guys, so, correct? So that's what we're hearing so far. Okay. Uh, I've talked to the guys a little bit. It, you know, the track, they, they've only got so much time to, right. to get the races done. I think ultimately, you know, it, it may expand in the future. But for now, the he from what I've heard, they've got like 50 or 60 guys on summer boards coming, which yeah. would be wow. pretty wild. That's and watching those dudes on a, on a track, I think <laughs> is going to be chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, they, they actually can drift around those corners. Exactly. Yeah. So oh, I, I don't I don't know what size heats they're going to do, how, how they're going to break that all up. But yeah, uh, they, that's uh, going to be pretty wicked. They roll deep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Sure. Um, so yeah, that, that kind of takes care of all the events that are coming up again, East Cape yeah, support those events, try yes. to, try to get out to them, even if it's just to hang out, you yeah. know, just, just stop in show, show it's the support. If you're interested, it's a good way to learn about it too. It's yep. also, uh, another good excuse to come visit, uh, Vegas. There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. So again, East Cape Con is March 26th and 27th of 2022. Um, go to the link in the description, tell us that you want to show up and, uh, you know, we'll be expecting you and it'll be a good time. Um, so that's pretty much takes care of all the events that we've kind of want to talk about today. Um, a couple updates about M boards products. I like to kind of give an update on that. We're working on foam grip tape right now. We're mm-hmm. kind of like finalizing the way we're going to laser cut it. So we have a laser cutter here and we've been experimenting with different types of foam, different types of adhesive. So I think we've kind of got it nailed down now and, uh, that should be coming out in the next month or so. So you can get the foam grip tape in different shapes and sizes, not just like one strip or right. is it just one strip? I think, I think originally it'll be like hexagons and then oh. we'll start adding different options as we go. Oh, um, very neat. Yeah. But yeah, so the good news about laser cutter is we can do it in any shape, any size, as long as it'll fit on our print bed. But nice. yeah. So, so we'll you could even submit like a custom cut potentially. Yes. Potentially we could do, technically we could have people submit like SVGs and cut anything that they want. Yeah. We'll, 
discuss maybe offering that. It, it takes a lot of work to get sure. to get the custom right, stuff yeah. to work. A but lot of revision too. Yeah, but yeah. If, if we can get a good workflow going, I'm down to do custom work. But it'll just we'll have to see. Cool. I'm looking forward um, to that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Okay. So. And that was just a quick little thing. I don't want to, you know, bore everybody. It's not an infomercial here. It's a podcast. So um, the next thing we want to talk about is the uh, Badass Build of the Week. We talked about it last week. Yeah. We introduced it, and we actually have something to show you guys now. So We've got some submissions. Hundreds and hundreds oh, and hundreds yes. of, of people. Submissions. Yes, definitely. Um, no, so today we just want to – we want so Anthony, we, again, we've talked about him a bunch of times, but he submitted all of his pictures like we asked him to in the last podcast. So I wanted to kind of show off his build. Um, so he's rocking the interstellar kit. So he built all his. So perfect. You all can uh, scroll through there together okay. and uh, take I a know look you at said it together. Um, we but can take turns. So he swapped out his grip tape for oh, this yes. like custom artwork. Um, very very nice. He installed a uh, battery percentage indicator. Sick. He swapped out his ninety seven millimeter wheels for a pair of hundred or one tens. I think they're one hundred and ten uh, millimeter wheels. Uh, yeah, hundred hundred millimeter, millimeter wheels. Hundred millimeters. Um. Yeah, so it's looking really nice. Um, I think he also swapped out his uh, wheel pulleys for a different gearing ratio. Um, it's looking really nice. So I, I just kind of wanted so to highlight his, his I board. Like, I like how he uh, put the battery indicator on the bottom of the enclosure. Yeah, what's really cool is he sent me a picture. The the LCD screen like lights up blue, and when it's facing down on the ground, it like actually gives it like, a little bit of a blue underglow. Oh, nice. oh, cool. oh yeah, there he is with his board. Uh, so like, he's, he's super proud of it. Um, nice. It's really cool. Yeah, I like the way he... His went together. Yes, it dude. Really nice. Yes, I love the photos. Yeah. So it's anyway, really nice. it's cool. I love the grip tape. Wow. Yeah. No, it, it definitely adds a Very lot to nice this build. Work. Awesome photos, so Anthony. Clean. Yeah, super clean. Really good. Really good. Photographer. Good approved. job, Anthony. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if if you guys have an awesome build you guys want to show off, remember link in the description. Submit your photos, and we'll review That's it on nice. the podcast. Uh, nice. You know, we want to show off as many people's builds as we can. So, uh, yeah. That's what does that. Anthony win for this week? Uh, you know what? A Anthony, hit us up. Hit us Let up. us know what you want. There we'll, you go. We'll, we'll figure something out. <laughs> Ask for a million yeah. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> no, we have our new set of all-terrain wheels. You could probably send him a set of those because I, I'm really proud of those and I want to get those out into the world. Yes. So I know he'll want to put those on his board at one point or the other. All-terrain well, wheels. be one of the first. Good yeah. idea. Yeah, so we can send out a, a set of those for sure. Lucky guy. Um, so our main section of, of what this podcast is about today is e-skate injuries. Ugh. Um, God. Because it's a really, it's a very real risk in in the reality of of this sport. Um, people, you know, get very very injured on e skates every day. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure we all have some type of crash story, and you know, the story of how we recovered, what our injuries were. So I kind of wanted to talk about that. Does anyone want to, you know, go first with their stories about how they fell? Or have we all crashed? Have we all crashed? I have. Yeah. I have. You all it's have. been a while, so, but yeah. So we all uh, have. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So um, Ali, do you want to start us off? Let's do it. All right. Um, so uh, I was doing some video work for a uh, another company and that involved with electric skateboards. And as I was filming, we were actually out in uh, California, and their roads are not really like not great. so paved. Yeah. I like to call them like the uh, shredders. Um, <laughs> Destroy your street wheels. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And um, as I was filming, I was filming the uh, guy t exactly to my right. So I was not really looking straight. I was looking to my right, looking at the camera, doing my filming thing. I'm very skilled and experienced in it. No problem. Do it all the time. And um, all of a sudden, the brake just initiated. Mm. Board locked up. And we were going about 22 miles per hour around there last time I checked. And uh, went flying forward tried to run it off got about two three good steps before yep. uh i just kind of my knees buckled and collapsed yeah um but luckily my right foot was still kind of on the ground i was sliding on my right foot but i dug my knee yeah. straight into the ground and like all my weight was into my knee and that was the only thing that was really touching the ground was just my knee just into <laughs> into the shredder pavement uh -huh. um I hop back up, uh, and uh, we were on the, the street, by the way. I forgot to mention that. And uh, there was plenty of cars behind us as well. They all stopped immediately. Oh, so you were, like, riding in traffic, right? Yeah, there was moment. heavy, heavy traffic. Um, and I did have a full-face helmet on, too. I usually don't rock a full-face helmet, but I did happen to have one that time. The helmet didn't even touch the ground once. Oh, okay. It was literally sure. just all a knee. Uh, I hop back up. I look back at my knee, and my knee was all white. <laughs> 
and um, I needed to finish the job, so I continued with my knee, eventually started to bleed. Um, once we finished the group ride, I kind of went in the corner and just like grabbed a ripped piece of like t-shirt, poured water on it, a uh, water on it, and um, cried a little bit. Yeah, I cried a little bit, and then in the corner, I like wrapped my knee up with this water and finished the job, and then uh, drove five hours back home before I attended to the wound. Still have the scar. It was oh, oh it, did, it did scar. It scarred Omni pretty bad. Um, but it could have been worse. You yeah. know, I could have had some type of head injury, broken bones or anything like yeah. that. Thank goodness it wasn't. It was, it was just all another. surface level. Yeah. It just hurt. For the most part, surface level. Yeah. <laughs> and emotional. <laughs> yes. Yes. That was uh So not too bad. So that's pretty good then. Yeah. It was it was definitely traumatizing nowadays. Like I'm always I always have that in the back of my mind that hopefully this doesn't lock up. <laughs> right, right, right. For sure. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. I I didn't really get hurt doing mine, but oddly enough, my two crashes were probably within 20 feet of themselves. <laughs> Wait, oh, like the same day? In the same spot? Uh, no, like six months apart, too. In the same spot. Do you remember the first Friday rides? Did you ever go to any of those? They, Up in Summerlin? No, they would do the first Friday rides like in the downtown district. Okay, yeah. So every on the first Friday of every month, there was this big like art festival and there was kind of an old school Vegas mm -hmm. group of skaters that would ride every Friday night. Nice. So when I was first riding, say two years ago, um, I would join these guys and they would rip. These guys would, these guys would rip for like three hours. So me trying to keep up with them, I was on street wheels. I didn't have enough battery. Two times, the exact same spot. I went down. Ooh. First time was the old fashioned, you know, adjust the camera while you're adjusting the camera, you yank on the yeah. throttle. And, oh, and let the board yes. just go right from under you. So that was that was the first one. Uh, that one wasn't so bad. You know, kind of ran it out. I I, nice. I think you know probably hurt an ankle or something. The second one though, the second one was brutal. It was it was crazy busy with cars at night. And you know how sometimes you just get that feeling there's a car that's about to pull in front of you. Yes. E even though they're not, you just you just yeah. feel like they're going to. I see this car. She turns on her blinker. He or she turns on their blinker. I'm waiting for it. Waiting for it. Blinker comes off. Okay, great. I'm gonna keep going. Wouldn't you know, she decides or he decides to just <laughs> swerve right in at the last second. After they turn off their blinker. There was a guy on my left-hand side also. Oh. So I slam on the brakes, mm -hmm. board locks pretty pretty quickly. He comes into the back oh. of my board. So oh. we end up going down on the ground. He's on top of me. and We start <laughs> sliding on the ground. Oh, my the God. The worst part about the crash was that a week before in Tahoe, I had cracked three ribs. Oh. So my wife, the one thing she says is just take it easy. Don't get hurt. Don't do anything. I couldn't tell you a pain that was worse than that. Uh, wait, quick question. How'd you crack your ribs? <sighs> okay, you long wanna, story. Yeah, that, okay. That's, like a, that's a whole other right. day. Yeah, okay. It was, it was, uh, that was kind of but embarrassing. Not East Gate related? No, no, snowboarding. Oh, oh snowboarding. Goodness. It was oh, snowboarding, great. yeah. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was snowboarding. I don't want to talk about that. Story. Okay. So. No, uh, sorry for interrupting. that hurt. That that was where the pain was, and and I tried to tough it out for two more hours riding this guy, oh, barely man. being able to breathe. My ribs Jeez. just hurt so bad. Three days later, my my entire chest was black from oh my from, goodness, yeah, Yikes. from those cracked ribs. It was brutal. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah crazy. I, I felt your pain through that. It story. was rough. Oh my gosh. So it, it so that so was bad. the second time in the same spot. So, I'm I'm telling you, it was like 20 feet apart. What happened the first time? Oh, first that was time the was throttle. the camera. That yeah, the, the camera. When I I've done that, the by the way. Both on street Guilty. wheels. Yeah, and just whiskey throttled it. And yep. And the first sealer. time you were just you were fine. You got back up. Or? Yeah, I mean my ankle was a little whack. You know, you yeah. just you just kind of sore from yeah. smacking the ground Tweaked at twenty things, miles an hour. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't. Uh, I think I think I rolled a little bit. Kept my head off the ground. Camera launched. Right. Uh, but you know, it's that's like it the is. main okay. objective yeah. when you're falling. Keep the head off the ground. Don't break right. the remote. <laughs> keep the head off the ground. Yeah. yeah, keep your hands and your head off the ground, and, oh, and dude, everything I, else is fine. I I don't care about the remote. I yeah. will throw that thing in the ground just. Yeah. To I just don't want to get stuck if I'm you know at the end of a ride or yeah. something. You know, as far away from the car and slam the remote. What about you, Mike? Okay, so first before I forget, there's this great like short film documentary. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. It's like, I forget what the exact title is. I'll put it a link in the description. It's like, it's like the, the rise of risk in electric skateboarding. It's about like this guy's injury, head injury. It's a really bad head um, injury. And there's a whole documentary about this, following this guy after his head injury. There's footage of it and everything. Um, you guys got to definitely got to watch it. I think it's like 20 minutes long. If that, mm. uh, I'll put a link in the description. It's, you know, it brings kind of awareness of to, uh, to head injuries and stuff like that. I feel like people don't take them seriously. So yeah. um, it's a great documentary. I'll put it, I haven't watched it in like years. So I, so forgive me for not remembering the exact title, but 
Um, I'll put a link in the description. It definitely deserves some more recognition. Um, okay, so my injuries are not, like, they're nothing. <laughs> like, yours sounds relatively bad. No broken bones directly, so no, that's good. No new ones that, <laughs> I, new that ones, I knew yeah. of. But so yeah, so that's knows. good. So I'm happy for you guys that they were... They weren't great, but they yeah. weren't we like, healed. devastating. We I'm so, road rash free for yeah. for now, so that's yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad, yeah. but we'll see. So I've had two. One was on campus in front of a whole bunch of people, which <laughs> nice was horrible. So I was I was going like what six seven miles an hour, nothing crazy, but <laughs> I I was messing with papers in my hand, like schoolwork or something, while riding like at like seven miles an hour before I really started going, and I. I hit the throttle yeah. like on accident. I went flying off my board. I rolled down. Like I, I just rolled. Like, it was totally fine. Like I Call got it up. A yard sale. It was just yeah, <laughs> yard exactly. Sale, yes, <laughs> yes. It was a full blown yard sale. All my shit went everywhere, and uh, you know it was it was, it was just more embarrassing than anything. Um, that was my second crash. Actually, my first crash was when I was making my very first video about my original board, the board that's hanging up on the wall. Um, on my on my personal channel, the, the video that started it all. I was making that video, and I was doing my range test and my top speed test, and I was doing this at you know one of our local parks. No helmet. Uh, I was wearing flip flops, cruising like a dumbass. <laughs> Wait, flip flops? Yes, I and wearing, no helmet, and no helmet. Double whammy. Yes. Wow. So <laughs> I was like, I, again, I never like I I'm like a week or two into owning electric skateboard. I have no respect for these things at all yet. Right. So. It's a single motor board. I'm like ripping down this, like the way that this parking lot is, it's like almost kind of like a figure eight almost. Um, I'm just ripping down this parking lot, like full speed at like 25 miles an hour. And I go, you know, I have to make this turn because you know, there's, there's some curbs coming up. I got to make the turn and, and continue with the figure eight. And like my belt, I guess, was getting loose. So like I'm hitting the brakes and my belt's just skipping and skipping. Oh, and I'm like, no. oh shit. So like I couldn't stop. Like I could have, obviously now I could, you know, use my feet to start slowing down. But at the time, like I just panic. What was, yeah, yeah just panic. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Like it's never happened to me before. So I start turning really hard and I, and I come like pretty much parallel with the curb and my front foot is like hanging off the front of my board <sighs> and I'm taking my big toe cause I'm wearing flip flops and I'm dragging my <laughs> toe <laughs> across the curb for like a hundred feet and it's just oh, getting man. shredded over and over. And I'm just like, you know. Uh, bleeding, leaving a, like a line of blood across the. <laughs> oh my I mean, god! No, nah, I mean I'm being a little dramatic, but like seriously, I'm like shredding my foot across, um, you know the curb, and I finally like you know my front wheel finally like clips the curb enough where it like stops oh, everything, man. and I go flying launch. into like launch into a bush, <sighs> totally fine. Like the I was wearing a backpack. I like my foot was fucked up, but um, you know, but my. My head was fine. I didn't hit the like I didn't hit the ground. I fell into a bush, and then this some guy comes running over. He's like, "Dude, I saw you cruising, and then you disappeared. I thought you died." I'm <laughs> like, "I almost, <laughs> yeah, you Shut know, up. I almost did, but no, like <laughs> I was you, fine. Bush. I have pictures of my toe and everything. I should have maybe queued <laughs> him up for you guys. Yeah. You guys don't want to see him. You don't want to see a bloody toe. I want, I want to see a big screen. toe. Yeah. Can you put a link? Can you put a link in? Oh that? man, I don't know the if anyone wants shot? to see that. Um, you know, but it was it wasn't great. I can tell you that it was not, um, it didn't feel good. But at, since then, though, I have much more respect for, you know, my boards. I, I wear helmets because I got lucky <laughs> once. Doesn't mean I'm going to get lucky again. Yeah. Um, you know, people, True. I've heard people all, like, I've heard people on social media all the time. They go, well, I've fallen a bunch of times. I've never hit my head. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, matter of it's time. coming. A matter of time. It's, it's coming. Not, so it's not about an if. It's about when. It's about when. So yeah, which one, uh, which experience was worse for you? The fall in front of all the high school or not high school, college, college. Uh, you know buddies what? or? Uh, uh, embarrassment only lasts. True. You know, I think yeah. it's a funny story now. I, I think uh, I think the I think the more important crash was me falling in the park because it, it immediately taught, taught me, something. like, it taught me yeah. something. Yeah. Learn from it. Yeah. Like, when I ride in campus, even after that, I still wouldn't really wear a helmet around campus because I wouldn't, I wouldn't push it. Like, there's people around. I'm not going to cruise through my campus at yeah. 30 miles an hour. But I'd go at, like, you know, a reasonable... 15 or something 10 15 because i'm like i don't have, I have nowhere to put my helmet anywhere once i get to class or whatever so that was kind of my my thought process anyway so like i would just take it very very easy around campus so um i kind of i probably still should have worn a helmet but i really wasn't cruising like you know some of the guys right. do right. um i fell off my board 
at Ma- the on UNLV campus. Yes, I was upgraded. Maddie's they gave me a microphone. Sneaking <laughs> in. <laughs> Maddie, yeah, Maddie's yes. here. Where'd she come from? I was I flew off um, the first board that Mike built me a couple times at UNLV. Twice with a rock getting stuck in my wheels, and once with a little acorn. <gasps> oh, um, an the acorn! acorn. <laughs> yeah. Just enough to stop my wheels, but I always landed on my feet. Um, mm-hmm. Like I wasn't ever going that fast no. for it to matter. Um, but I crashed once, not on an electric skateboard, but on a longboard. I was downhill yep. uh, longboarding. Uh, it was a paved path, um, and there was this curve, and I took the curve, and I kind of like bent down to get kind of lower to the ground, and I got really bad speed wobbles. Oh. <laughs> and um, <Ooh. laughs> I, I had never that had never happened to me before, so I didn't really know like what to do. So I tried to like slow down. I was going way too fast to like put my foot down. Um, I ended up getting thrown off and I fell into these decorative boulders and I got this oh. huge, um, no bushes, this hu- no, no, no bushes, no. No bushes. <laughs> decorative boulders. Of course. Um, <laughs> they were pretty sharp. I got a huge gash on my thigh and my hand was like all cut up and just totally bleeding. Oh, so I just like laid there for a minute. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I was, I was uh, pretty far from home. I'd ridden oh. my board there, so I didn't know what to do Dang. after that, but, um, did you she have had the, the walk worst back? one out all of us? Did you have <laughs> the walk? She had back? the worst one out all. I of called us. my brother, and he, um, like, because we weren't, we were kids, so like, you know, he couldn't drive and pick me up or anything. So he rode his bu- his board uh, down to the park, and he walked me home and carried my board home. So yeah. I was all right, but it was not not fun, not fun. And I so after that, I was like trying to figure out like what to do with speed wobbles, and I still don't think I've figured it out. Nobody does. I mean, there there are people who are very skilled riders who can get themselves out of speed wobbles, but speed wobbles gets the best out of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's been a couple of times where I've almost eaten it really bad with speed wobbles, and for whatever reason, I just, the speed wobbles were covered, and I was fine. What I found to be very effective for me personally, I don't know if it works for everybody, but as soon as I get speed wobbles, I'll try to start going into a, ca- a carve. Yeah. Once I start carving, like actually carving left and right, left and right, mm-hmm. it kind of like like balances out that that uh, speed wobble yeah. it works for me i Might want to try i've it. heard a couple different people say that speeding up also yeah. can help but it's like the exact opposite of your you know initial instincts right because immediately you get speed wobbles you want to start slowing down because you feel like there's a crash coming um I, again i don't know if that works for everybody i've heard that from a couple people where that's that's their method and they it works for them sometimes but also, it could be like um, an issue of uh, lack of balance. It could be too much weight in the back of the board. You might right. want to lean more forward. Right. Again, going against our natural instinct of trying to slow down and lean backwards. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a lot lot to it. But, um, you, you guys should just be really big like me. I don't get speed oh, yeah. wobbles. Oh, right? really? You no, don't? it's planted. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. It's yeah. planted. It's <laughs> great. It's great. Must it's, be nice. I yeah. like it. No, I, I definitely get speed bubbles once in a while. Um, I've gotten them before, but yeah, it's I, I kind of do the same thing Ali does. You just pick a direction. I like to go heel side. Yes. Because I feel mm-hmm. heel side, if I'm out of control, I can still use the brake. If I try to toe side brake, it just doesn't. Yeah, like, that's when I feel like I lose the control. So I go heel side. I'm the opposite. If I go toe side, I feel more secure than yeah. heel side. Because really? heel side, if I go over a bump, I feel like my heel is just going to slip off and yeah. fall backwards. I, I feel, feel like I can slide that out. That mm-hmm. way. If I'm, I'm toe uh, side, I'm gone. I'm heel side as well. Yeah. Oh, I wow. feel like I can, I can like my turns and I'm turning. I can turn so much sharper on my heel side. Wow. And you can run off like you can. I don't know. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has their thing. I don't you know, know what it is. It's probably See? instinct too to fall on your butt yeah. instead of your face. Mike. Right, like oh yeah, well, you right. You want to I mean, lean which yeah. way you feel will feel safer although though, falling. Also, though, if you lean, if you fall backwards, your head can hit the ground. Yeah. yeah. If you fall forward, you got your arms to stop you. But so are you thinking about that when you're about to fall? Well, you know, I don't know. A lot goes through your head. I was gonna say, yeah. A lot of things go through my head. So, All right, so speaking of crashes, we actually have a video for you guys this week. Um, you do I'll, on yes. the iPad. Yes. It's on the iPad. Um, we believe. Please feel free to correct us if we're wrong, if someone knows the real information. But we did some research, and we believe that this is Thomas um, Kilminster, maybe, is how you say it. Yes, yes, yes. We believe that he is in the UK, and um, we figure that this happened in South England, this crash. um, And it was recent. It just happened on Sunday. Um, So not even even a week old yet. Um, So take a look at that. And see what you guys okay, think. so I haven't seen this. You've seen yes, this. Yes, I, I came across this video. thought it would be a great idea for the submission here. Um, so I've seen it already. So I'll be last to rewatch it just because it's uh, I, I need a reminder. It. Okay, so do you want to well, watch them separately so we get yeah. our reactions? Yeah. 
Oh my god. Do I want to see this? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can talk about like aye, aye, aye. things we could have maybe prevented. The oh. sound of it sounded bad. Yes. He's like, oh, Holy he's like star. <laughs> I'm going to watch it one more time. This isn't the guy that goes over the hose, right? No. Okay. That's that old. one is oh, that that's, one's nasty. That's old. I don't, it almost looks fake. But wow. Yeah. I would say we're also not advocating for not wearing helmets, but we're also not advocating for well, wear them. Make your own decisions, but be smart. When you get a chance you to know, watch the video, you'll smart. see the dude has a helmet on. Yeah. Thank God he had a helmet on. Okay, so the, the play button's top right-hand corner. Yeah. Oh. We'll see you. Ow. Dude. <laughs> yeah. It's a little more than a speed wobble. Yeah. That's a st- wow. Since we're on the topic of speed wobbles, so right? Thomas, you all right, man? Dang. I, do we have an update on him? Um, so uh, last time I checked and I was browsing through, like, the comments and things like that of the video. I think that's uh, caused the, because of the bindings. Do you think he, he – I mean, obviously he can – I I don't know. From what I read, he is doing well. Is obviously hurt, but nothing substantial, like a broken rib or anything. Because that was my first thought. I was like, "Oh, that's a broken rib." Call no, uh, apparently he's just very sore. Yeah, I believe. I so. mean, because like head first into the pavement. Which head first? Thank God he had a wow. helmet on. Yeah. So here's what I t- here's a couple of takeaways I have from this video. Um, one, with no helmet there. Oh, you would have been dead. You're hospitalized at the yeah. very least. There, I mean, he go, he's going at least 15, 20. I mean, it, it, it looks like a race. What's crazy is it doesn't yeah. take much speed to really hurt you. Like, it doesn't take a lot, especially if the first thing that hits the ground is your head. So my thing is, it's the binding. Yeah. That's that's what I'm wondering. That's my biggest you thing. Know? The is, binding. Is he's strapped to his board. Now, again, I'm not knocking bindings. I'm not saying he did anything wrong. All I'm saying is that the bind, there's a risk in bindings. Yeah, it didn't risk. help. You are, there's no... You, immediately lose the ability to step off your board you're attached so where that board goes you go and you know coming from snowboarding it like you would think i would think it's a good idea but right. it's totally different like you you can't really experience those type of speed wobbles on a snowboard for you to really flip right forward like that i mean I, you can get it eh, similar similar but it's way I, different i also pavement. think there's a big difference in like snow versus Pavement. Now I know snow <laughs> can get you know melt and freeze and it gets really hard. I've had my my share of snowball snowboarding falls as well, so I understand that it's really hard and it can it can hurt right, you. Right. But I think just like typically when you're going downhill, you fall. I think you know yeah gravity and like the way that the ang- the slopes are can sometimes like make that fall a little less. But when you fall on a flat piece of pavement, I just think it's different. Oh yeah, it hits different. No, you're definitely right. You're yeah. definitely right about that. There's nothing comparison to falling on pavement wow. and s- snow. I, I mean, it bad. looks like he, you know, did everything right for the most part. He had a, a assumed to be a padded jacket on. Yep. He had his helmet. Um, you know, at those speeds, though, it's anything can happen. Scary, it yeah. takes one second. Yeah, and, and getting out of speed wobbles at that speed, I don't, I don't. Yep. I don't know what you do. You know, rewatching this video, I'm really happy to see that people were there to help him out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like people were blocking his area so p- people didn't run, other racers didn't run right into him. It's great to see a community very helpful. Yeah. So it was like a serious race, though. Something I feel like I can contribute here. Um, so when I got my motorcycle license, I took a class at Harley Davidson and we learned about a lot about our helmets and stuff. Obviously, it's really important. Um, but we learned that. Uh, a helmet is only rated for one fall. Mm. Yeah, you have to. So that's yeah. a good. That's so a good point. Yes, um, yeah. that's it, correct. It was also like if you're standing in your garage about to get on your bike and you drop your helmet on the floor, technically that helmet is no longer rated for the things it was rated for when you purchased it. Mm. So mm-hmm. I, it's it's important to change out your helmet, especially if you that, have a crash you like know that, what? not to just keep rocking with the same one wow. because they do actually lose their effectiveness. Yes, I never think about that. That is definitely right. It, once you once you fall, your helmet's done. You got to get yep. a new one. Yeah. It's not like, just fashion. It's, no, no, <laughs> it's, it's it, there's there's there actual reason. structural yeah. parts of it that, you know, that yeah. once they're you know what? Because there's all you know the whole thing about helmets or cars or anything. There's crumple zones and everything. So like yep. as soon as it hits the ground, those crumple zones are no longer, you know, effective at what they're supposed to do. Um, but yeah, I bet you, let me see this. Be cool to get his take when he, when he's feeling better. Yeah. I'd love to yeah. hear from him. I'll definitely reach out to him. Yeah. I've got his info. There's less than two seconds from, from the time he s- first starts experiencing speed wobbles 
to him hitting the ground is less than two seconds. It's like a second and a half. Yeah, it, it happens it so happens quick. So fast. So quick. I think I think though, you know, that's the difference between even even think about sports, right? When you take it from the casual amateur level to the professional level, everything gets dialed up a hundred notches. Right. These dudes are flying. Yeah. They're racing. They're not out yeah. on their casual cruise. It's it's right. It's a different style of riding. So, you know, everybody should be aware that that this is possible but it's not a guarantee so right. every person that comes in says you're gonna fall and crack your head open i i could walk that and dude do the same thing and trip on a curb you, you know and it's and it's no different it, it's just being aware you know ride within your own skill level and and be protected if if you need it uh um, i have a question yeah so let's say, thinking about scenarios, what if he didn't have the bindings on it, but he was still experiencing speed wobbles? How do you guys think that would have played out if there was no bindings, but still speed wobbles? You know, it could have went exactly the same. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I mean, he probably would have been down either way. Yeah. Um, I don't think the bind. I don't think the bindings is going to prevent or or prevent or cause anything. What I think happens, like when he went over, when he started falling. That board's coming with him. Now you have, like, that's a heavy board. It's you momentum. got 30 yeah. pounds yeah. cranking on your ankles. Like, that could be a problem, too. He like, might have been able to take a step. Yeah, one, one step. step. And, and a roll and a tuck or something. Yeah. But but it's, yeah. you know, we're, we're saying maybe here. I, I think I think either way he goes down. I and Again, this is like Sunday morning or what is it? Monday morning quarterbacking. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think he gets one step in. I think he's able to. I think he still falls, but I think he's able to mitigate his the damage because one steps all I mean that's yeah. huge you cut like you cut your momentum in by half or whatever well he didn't get hurt maybe maybe he limited his damage with the bindings I, you never know maybe I mean, those were the savior and, and you we're never know talking shit about him I mean <laughs> I, no I'm not what? talking shit no no no, no, I, no not throw, at all. can you throw bindings I, on your penny board and see what happens <laughs> oh my god on my penny my <laughs> feet will be touching <laughs> <laughs> my biggest concern is that 30 40 pounds of weight cranking yeah. on your ankles because you your feet can't go anywhere I think could could really hurt yeah. you um again i still think bindings are, are awesome i think there, there's a time and place for them all and i think you know if you like them then you like them i'm not knocking them at all but there's some you know there's just risk to everything that you do yeah i think the bindings would have i don't think it would have been an ideal choice for this type of event maybe for more of an off-road with softer dirt yeah i would have chose the bindings but yeah. for a race like this anything can happen as we can yeah. see no, I mean, I'm going frame by, and I, again, we're going frame by frame here, and I just, you know, there's, I, I, I do think when he starts going sideways, he puts his foot down on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Instead of flipping over. There are some comments on the post that we found this video on okay. that um, say, are being quite sarcastic, but um, saying that he only injured his head because of the straps. <laughs> okay. So they're okay, saying, they're it. blaming the bindings. But again... Being sarcastic. No one really. Yeah, they didn't say exactly. it very nicely, but that's the gist well, of what they were. Well, welcome to, to say. the Eastgate community. You know, we don't <laughs> right. say anything nicely to each other, apparently. So, um, <laughs> no, I mean, I wish him a speedy, uh, a speedy recovery. I hope that he doesn't never has to experience something like that again. Um, I hope his board is somewhat okay. I mean, I'm sure there's damage, but do know. we know what board he was riding on? It looked like a trampa. I can't tell. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. That's the. Isn't that the hero board? No, the ha hero. Yeah. Hero. It looks like it, but. Yeah, I can't quite tell. But mountain board of some sort. Yeah, man, that's it's nuts. If you guys watching have had your own falls, um please let us, you know, send us your videos. I think this should be a weekly segment of just, you know, a weekly fall. Um what do we want to call it this? Like just a fall of the week, I guess, crash fall of the week, of the week or crash something. of the week. Um cuz I think there's a, you know, a very important safety lesson here too. If you're listening at home, this is one that you got to go watch. Um, of course, we'll post all the links to all the videos that we're watching because um, obviously you're not really getting the whole gist of it if you're just listening. But, um, you know, you can imagine what speed wobbles looks like and flying over, you know, the side of your board looks like. But <laughs> ugh, that's bad. Yeah, there's nothing that can really describe this. You yeah. have to see it yourself. Um, you know, so I, I guess we'll leave it at that. I mean, you know, there's a, there's a lot to be said about the bindings and whether or not they're a good idea. Um, I personally wouldn't ride on them, but. Yeah, we can uh, definitely learn from other people's mistakes as yep, well. Definitely, but you know what's crazy is no matter no amount of learning from ex uh, mistakes, watching videos is going to prevent a crash True. from from happening. So yeah. you know it is what it is. I, who knows? Maybe this guy's got thousands of miles on yeah. those things, yeah. and he just yeah. knows how they are, and he just 
got you know, we, caught in a bad spot. Can we like uh, maybe bring him on the show virtually somehow? Maybe hey, I, I want to know about his recovery process. Yeah, if we can, if we can contact him, we'll be happy to you know have him on the show uh, maybe next week or something if he's down. Uh, I'd love to hear from everybody. As, at least get an update from him to make sure he's actually right. doing okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's brutal, man. So you know, again, we're hoping for a speedy recovery. Um, you know, we were talking about the bindings. I had issues with my flip flops. Like what? Let's talk about shoes for a second. Like uh, enough with this, you know, let's move on from his crash. It's horrible. Let's get, you know, next subject. Yeah. Shoes. Um, shoes. What do you got? Like, so obviously flip flops is a no go. Obviously, <laughs> as you know, my toes got jacked up because of that. Um, Learn from my mistakes. Although you, you sometimes do catch me in the parking lot and flip flops and I'm yeah. on my board. Out not here. very fast, not very fast, but eh, I still do it sometimes. I shouldn't, but what shoes do you guys like to wear? Now, here, how about this? I like to wear Vans, and that's what I like to wear, but at work, I do like to be in flip-flops. So when I'm riding, I do go for Vans, but a lot of times I find myself in flip-flops and then wanting to ride after the fact. I just don't have my, my shoes with me. So um, what do you like to wear? Well, what kind of Vans do you use? Just like I the, also use Vans. Like just like the regular lace-up. Okay, like, yeah, the, the classic standard ones. Yeah, standard ones, yeah. I think they're called the classics or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I've taken a look at your shoes. Um, I also use the same pair, just different color, mm -hmm. uh, the classic black and white. Yeah. Um, but I am strictly Vans, strictly Vans. Y your, uh, your beanie would also. Yeah. Oh, yeah, as you yeah. can tell by my give beanie. It away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've uh, worn Vans for a long time, so mm -hmm. that was kind of an easy, you know, adjustment. But I've definitely learned uh, through skating that not only Vans, but like shoes in general play a huge part for me being a bigger dude. Mm -hmm. If I wear a Vans Classics or something like that, I'm done after like 10 miles. It okay. hurts so bad. Oh. They're not the best support. They're, no, they're, not. Those not. aren't. But. Fans came out, you know, with some some better shoes. They have pop cush. They've got comfy oh, yeah. cush. They've, they've got all kinds of things. So I switched to the Kyle 2s, which have a pop cush sole. They've Are got these huge, Vans? Yeah, still these Vans. Vans. Okay. Still Vans. Huge uh, you know, sole cup. And I could wear I could ride all day. All day, no pain, no nothing. As soon as I change, nothing. Done. Toast. So the thing Wait, about huge Vans difference. for me is, like, they, like the soles are super thin and they're just flat. Like, there's nothing yeah. special about them. But what I feel like, I feel like I can feel my board. Yeah. Literally. Like, you gotta try the new the ones though, man. I, I gotta still try the can. New you still can. I become just one with the board with yeah. yeah. But then, but I agree though. Like after like a good like ten miles, like my feet do hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like so, like but like at the same time, I've tried other shoes and I just feel like I'm standing on a cushion on top of my board. And yeah. I just feel like I'm gonna fall off. Yeah. So it's weird. I don't know, Maddie. What about you? What do you ride? Um, with? usually I wear my Vans. I used to wear my Nikes all the time, but also when I was riding around campus, I would wear all kinds of shoes, like you know, Rocking strappy heels. sandals yeah. and stuff. Oh god, <laughs> never heels, but sometimes like <laughs> a little bit of a platform. Okay. Um, but preference. Preference Vans. Yeah. Yeah. Wear uh, a group of fans. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tell you why. I don't wear Nikes. They you yes. move around too much. Mm. The, the yeah. shoe is not designed to keep you in place on a skateboard. You, if if the sole of your foot is going to be locked into the grip tape, you need your foot locked into that shoe, yeah. like a snowboard. Right. For me, Nikes, I'm all over the place. Yeah, the, so that loose mesh. No, with Nikes, I I like how comfortable they are. They do have nice padding, but for me, and maybe it's just like the sh the Nike shoes that I've I've have worn in in uh, the past. It's like those runner shoes. I yeah. feel like I'm standing on like a decline, like yeah. a hill or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I just don't really like the. And I, stay, I, stay I don't think the grip shoes. is good uh, on yeah. Nike either. Yeah, I slip a lot. Now I, we're talking tennis shoes because I have seen. Obviously, Nike makes a skateboarding shoe. Oh yeah, the SB. So, yeah, I haven't. The Nigers. Oh, I, have I haven't not tried, tried those. those. No, I want to try uh, the Nigers. And then I've seen a couple like you know, people riding you know, Brock Air Force Ones or Jordans. The sole is flat, and you could potentially yeah. argue I, I think that's just more some new balance of a yeah. I don't know, fashion man. of a fashion i should yeah. clarify too i only wear my slip-on vans oh. i have oh. lace-up oh. lace oh. vans i do not wear them i it just feels different to me i feel like i don't know i can't really describe it but i feel like m my foot just feels so much more secure in the slip-on vans really the laces I, it might be like subconsciously too like i don't know i don't know what it is i don't know i, huh. I don't know to me like the laces like you can like Really Cranking. tighten them down yeah. on your feet. So I, like I think I need to invest into the slip-ons because I own all the laces, but I just tuck them in. I don't 
even tie them. I oh. swear, I know how to tie my laces. I just do you know how to tie your shoes, Ali? Do you really know how to tie your shoes? <laughs> On a good day. On a good day, <laughs> you could switch to the dark side and go Velcro with me. Oh yes, oh, you rock well, the Velcro, right? I you don't do rock. Have some Velcro. Do you have a Velcro wallet too? <laughs> I don't have a Velcro wallet. <laughs> I don't have a Velcro yeah. wallet. Come my on. brother has a Velcro wallet. Yes. Oh nice. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Just the Velcro, just, kidding, just the kidding. prison issues, man. Those, those are those are gangster, yeah. That's nice. Funny. All right. Well, I think we've covered our shoes. If again, if you guys are watching, you know, leave a comment below on what shoes you guys like to to wear. Um, yeah. If I, you're a Vans fan, uh, let me know your favorite Vans too. Be yeah. specific. Yeah. 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 I yeah. think I think there's more. You know, there's more to Vans anymore than just mm -hmm. classics. Yeah. yeah. We don't need pictures for this though. No feet pics. Yeah. <laughs> please no. Please that's no feet pics. That's okay. Jacob might like them. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> no, don't do that. Um, I'm just playing. Well, thank you guys for you know. Oh, for I want to. I want to. Oh, I oh. just wanted to mention something real quick. Oh, Last week, yes. I made a dumb, a dumb, dumb, dumb comment, and I got called out for it. Okay. I said that Walmart does not sell electric skateboards. Okay. It did not take long until I got called out. So after some searching, I found a local, a local board, and uh, I picked up something pretty, pretty wild. Do you? You have bought a board from Walmart. That thing is massive. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> so. What is that? Barely. First off, how heavy is it? You bought it? a car, dude. Is that from Walmart? Dude. So this is from Walmart, Walmart sells a version of this. This one isn't. I got this one secondhand from a from a dude here in Vegas. Okay. It unfortunately doesn't work, and I I really don't know much about it yet. I got it last night. What's wrong with it? But uh, well, I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, we'll we got we got to crack it open. Okay. Oh my god, this thing is massive. How much dude. does that thing weigh? I'm guessing seventy pounds. No way. Maybe, wow. Maybe so why would you guess five? that? Do you have anything like referencing already? I pretty much know what I can pick yeah, up. Okay. What I, what <laughs> yeah. I can. Okay. I mean, my, okay. my LaCroix is like 45, okay. 50. So it's heavier than that. This wow. thing, yeah, this Go thing is Go throw it on the shipping scale. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Dude, that's so insane. Because it's, it's rocking like what? I think 8922 motors. I don't even know what that 80 is. 8922. It, yeah. It's not even, I don't even think it's I don't even think that's a thing. It's not using the same standards as like what we yeah. would call an electric What size now. wheels are those? Twelve inches? I, th I think 15? maybe maybe ten, maybe tens. 10. Or I think they're tens. I think tens or twelve. That's uh, insane. Well, if it, anybody has one of these, uh, let me know. Let us know because I'm interested. What's, and also, what's the use case for this? Yeah. Why? Like, why not? <laughs> I guess because because uh, here's the thing. Cause I like, guess why at not? Walmart they sell it for like seven hundred bucks. Yeah, you, it's right? like seven hundred bucks brand new. <laughs> I, I just try to imagine like what you could buy for seven hundred dollars. You know, there's a lot of different boards out there, but why that? Why buy that one, dude? That thing is so that thing is a it's not practical. Wait, is that skateboard wheels in the bushing? The yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you Hold believe on. That? So the Jeez. bushings are so large they just grabbed a skateboard wheel. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, guys, it's pretty classic. <laughs> okay, so well, we're gonna get it fired up. Uh, we're gonna get right. this thing running. New project. I'm excited. Maybe we'll let's even customize it while we're at it. Let's get that know. running. I wanna, Dude, I want to work. That's work on insane. That. I, I mean, love, I love the fact that you asked why, and the man who purchased it can't even answer you. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> what know. did you pick it up for? Hundred bucks. Hundred. No okay, way. I got it for hundred. That's worth it. Figuring I needed to spend Dude, another four or five hundred dollars for a project like that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'd just, spend hundred dollars on that thing just to hang on my wall. And it'll probably end <laughs> up better than the Walmart, you know, version of it. I hope. I hope it ends up better than the Walmart version. If it's the same thing, then. So I basically will spend seven hundred dollars. So from what I can tell, reading the the paragraph of stuff on the bottom of the case, yeah. it looks like it's gonna have like th like lead acid batteries in there. Yeah, probably. So if you swap those out for lithium ion, you might have to swap your ESC and the motor. Uh, I want that motor. That motor's that cool, motor's cool though. though. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know how effective it is, but I, I, I need two of them. So if you're if you're listening and you're not watching, yeah, Jacob just picked up a board like the size of me with 10 inch tires it's got like a foot and a half long or probably more like 18 inch 20 inch yeah, long 18 inch trucks sure. so the company that inch. they've got is it's altered electric skateboards sounds that and brown? i think i've seen this that it was called a phantom 2.0 or, or something that brown that brand sounds kind of familiar it does even the guy that owned it he didn't know much about it i think he got <laughs> it from a buddy of a buddy of a friend so wow who, who knows well okay then nice. i mean the way so, to end yeah the just to clarify i apologize so walmart, walmart or anybody else that might have one of these so you can get that because if this thing fires up and it's pretty cool then I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you could roll That's over anything. Insane. Yeah, I, I guess like a use case probably be like you could hit up like a beach yeah. and like cruise over like the sand, no problem. I got, I don't know. 
drive over some of those decorative I mean, boulders just that run, we have here. Run people over just for the hell of it. Do you think you that can. guy would have crashed if he was on that board? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he, he probably wouldn't have gotten fast enough. If this thing will go as fast as he was going, I don't want to be on it. <laughs> there's no way. Yeah, no, there's no way. That thing does definitely does not hit the speeds that guy was going. That guy was nice. cooking for sure. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for, you know, for joining us. Um, somebody commented that we should offer discount codes for anyone who makes it to the end of the podcast. So I think that was a good idea. So if you're watching, we will, um, you know, use code podcast five. It's the fifth episode of our podcast, right? Nice. Yep. Or I like it. I don't know, 15% off or something. Sure. But dude, margins are so thin right now. It's all I could do. <laughs> hey, I was going to say that's very generous. Yeah. They're <laughs> dude. That's not great. We'd be right. available for M boards and board bumpers. All right. We'll do, cool. them, for, we'll do them for both. Why not? Um, We're here. We're dude, here. Sick. All right. Well, anyways, thank you guys for joining me. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. Um, again, send us pictures of your builds. Yes. Comment down below. I like, yes. you know, participate in the show because odds are you'll end up on the show <laughs> if you yep. send us stuff for right. sure. Right. So thank you guys for watching again, and we will see you in the next one. Later. See Peace. ya.